Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. If you are the one who is pursuing master's degree or currently enrolled in a PhD program and you want to do an internship at Google, then this video is definitely for you because Google is offering a student researcher internship, which is a paid internship. You will get paid a good amount of stipend. Although they haven't disclosed particularly this thing that how much they'll pay you but it is a paid internship and generally for this kind of internship Google pay you know, approximately you know an average of 80,000 per month 80,000 80 to 90,000 per month you will get right so what is this internship how to apply for this what is the eligibility criteria and one more important thing the deadline is only 23rd of August and it's already 21st August so apply as soon as possible if you are eligible so let me just tell you everything about this thing what is the eligibility criteria and if you got selected then what you need to do right what would be your roles and responsibilities at google and how to apply and one more thing like how to prepare for your resume if you want to submit your resume for this internship that thing also i'll give you that is the bonus tip right so uh, see the link you will get in the description box of this video don't worry once you click on that link you will be redirected to here so this is a student researcher a phd 2024 internship the location is bangalore india and uh, see deadline is 23rd of august so apply as soon as possible right now minimum qualifications is currently enrolled in a phd or a master's program in computer science or a related technical field right now experience is one area of computer science like maybe uh, machine learning deep learning neural networks ai and data science right in these kind of areas you have an experience like in any one area this is the minimum qualification right now preferred qualification is what so maybe you are thinking maybe currently you uh, you are in your first semester of mtech or any master's program then how you will be having some experience experience means you have done maybe some internship in that area that kind of thing also will work here right or any research or any internship in that area that will also work preferred qualifications currently enrolled in a full-time degree program right and experience as a researcher internships or full-time or at a lab if you have these kind of experience this would be preferred and uh, experience with one of the any of these programming languages C, C++, Java, Python, MATLAB, etc. And ability to design, execute on research as and does. Obviously, it is a research, student researcher internship. And if you got selected, then what you need to do? See, it is a paid internship first of all, right? So you will have a chance to work directly with Google research scientists and engineers on research projects. So that is a great opportunity for you guys to learn, to have the experience. And this will definitely add value, definitely add value to your resume. You will be working on obviously some critical research projects and it's not that traditional internship, right? See, it's beyond the limitation of traditional internship program. There you have a deadline, you need to submit something at particular deadline, the time uh, you know, duration and the commitment and all. This is not that thing. Here one more important point is you will have both the mode to work on site as well as remote. So see with options for on site as well as remotely you can work on this internship. And the project or the topics on which you will be working those would be open ended and exploratory right. And don't always have a clear deliverable like a traditional internship would. So please you can read out this uh, uh, the responsibilities and all. Now how to apply for that you just click on this apply and there you need to fill out some information right here you create your profile and then career profile and then your role information then self identification and then review and apply and after you will submit then you will get a mail from google right for particularly this internship you have submitted your or they have received your response and all Right. And if particularly if by chance you get selected, then they are going to call you and it, the selection would be based on your resume. You have to submit your resume. That is very important. So your resume should be compelling. Right. Because everything now depends on your resume. So whatever skills and whatever things they did in this internship, if you have those things, please highlight those things in your resume. 
your resume should be clean and precise and you know short just one page resume is enough right there are so many if you search on google like free resume template there are so many websites and there you will get many free resume templates you know those are excellent and very good so just download that template or you fill that information according to you according to your information your name and all whatever in required in the you know that resume and just download your resume and that's it that's very simple so now use the technology you have you use those resume templates use ai chat gpt and everything you know to make a great resume it's not like that in traditional way we used to write down the resume in those microsoft word everything type everything so those are gone days now right use whatever you have and prepare a very good resume and then submit right so now that's it about this internship so if you know someone like who is doing their masters or phd program you can share this video with them if it's not valuable for you means if you are pursuing your bachelor degree then definitely you can't apply for this so please share this to someone who may need it Right now that's for this video. Now I'll see you in the next video. Till then bye bye. Take care.